it's too expensive. It's too time consuming. I don't have a dark room. I don't have time for this. I don't have a film scanner. <laughs> have you heard any of these before? Or maybe you're thinking them yourself? Well, I will give you 10 reasons today why you should start shooting film this year. Reason number one. Film is back in fashion. Literally. It's all over the big brands. All the big photographers are doing it. They are shooting film. Big campaigns are being shot on film, either on 35mm film, on medium format, or even on Super 8. Some people are saying this is just a trend. And I would agree, but even if it's a trend, trends come and go, but they also keep kind of being recycled and coming back. So I think even if it is a trend right now and it will pass, I think in the long term it's gonna be here to stay and people will be rediscovering the beauty of film far into the future. Number two, reducing your screen time. It's just a fact of life. If you shoot analog, you don't spend as much time on your computer. You don't stare in the screen in your camera. You don't spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours color correcting your pictures. And it's just good. Less screen time is good. Fact number three, it's less expensive than you think. Yes, you heard right. I think shooting on film is less expensive at least when you are starting out. It can be expensive when you shoot tons and tons of rolls of film per month. But when you're deciding whether you should start learning photography the analog way or you should start learning photography the digital way, I think your primary investment is gonna be far smaller if you just buy an old analog camera. For example, I bought my first SLR camera for about 200 euros. This is way less than what I would have spent if I had acquired a digital camera. They tend to be something between 600, 1000, 2000 or even 3000 euros. And it doesn't stop there because then you have to get a battery, an SD card, you have to get like storage and let's be honest, you're gonna need editing software because the colors that are coming out of digital cameras are just not as good as the colors that you're getting straight out of camera from film. So your initial investment tends to be higher when you get digital equipment versus if you get a cheap SLR used camera and you're ready to start learning. Number four, your progress is gonna be faster. I believe that I progressed as a photographer much faster because I started learning on an analog camera. Because you pay for every mistake that you are making. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what did I photograph there? <laughs> Number five, you've heard this before and I'm gonna say it again because I agree 100%. Film colors are just better than digital colors. Okay, number six, the excitement is real. Whenever I get some film back from the lab, I feel this little jolt of excitement because it's like getting a birthday present, but you're getting it more often than just once a year. You're getting it every time your lab sends you this email. Quick interruption. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing to this channel and hit the like button so I know I will make more videos like this for you. Number seven, your work becomes more intentional. This is a big one for so many photographers because when you shoot digital, you shoot tons and tons of material. You usually shoot more than you want to look through or you have time to look through. With film, this doesn't tend to happen because you are limited to only 36 exposures. I mean, this is great. This is your friend. Because imagine the feeling you're coming back from a shoot and you know that you're not gonna have to spend hours and hours hours and hours and hours going through hundreds thousands of files instead you only have 36 
and I'm pretty sure you will become super fast at finding out and seeing which photos are good in like no time. Number eight, you don't need to do everything yourself anymore. Sometimes when we're talking about shooting film, people tend to forget that it's like 2021 because now you don't need to have a dark room. You don't need to have a scanner. You don't need to know how to do prints in the dark room. You can just shoot the film and give it to a lab and they will take care of all of it for you. You can outsource the really tedious, hard parts of dealing with analog film <laughs> and give it to a lab. They will happily charge you a lot of money and do all the work for you. And this is also good because then you don't overwhelm yourself with the whole process of film when you're just starting out. You can postpone all of that stuff to later. You can learn it later. Just start, go out and shoot on your camera, learn like the basic stuff and you will still have time to dive deeper and learn the intricacies of developing black and white film, developing color film later on in your learning process. You don't need to know everything from day one. Take it one step at a time and it's not as tedious, it's not as hard, it's not as complicated as some people make it out to be. I don't have a dark room. Reason number nine, discover a cool new community. Analog, analog shooters, shooters of the of world, the, world. Nine, nine. the analog film community offline and online is pretty nice. You'll find some cool, geeky new people that are fanatic about shooting film, who are interested in exchanging ideas, talking about different film stocks, talking about different old cameras and really this is a cool new opportunity for you to connect with a different kind of photographer. This is a great opportunity to find new cool people in the YouTube community. There's Willem Verbeek, there's Grainy Day, there's Negative Feedback, there's Barney Arthur, there's Matt Day. There are so many cool YouTube channels for analog photography and people talking about all the things to do with film. You will discover a whole new world, I promise. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be talking a lot about analog photography here in the future. Number 10, get to know the roots. When you shoot film, you truly reconnect to the history and the roots of this entire art form and this whole medium because it's not that old, it's only like 200 years old. You will be capturing light when you shoot film in 2021, just as somebody was capturing light 200 years ago. Isn't that cool? And probably this piece of film will exist for a much longer time than you are existing here on this earth. This is the cool thing about film, it doesn't get deleted. It doesn't get deleted easily, so it will probably unless like your house burns down, it will probably keep on existing and it will probably be passed on and it will exist forever. All right, I hope these were 10 good reasons that convinced you that you should definitely start shooting film in 2021. And if you do so, please let me know in the comments below and subscribe to this channel because we're gonna be talking a whole lot more about shooting film here in the future and I'll see you next time.